A common misconception relating to transport across cell membranes. Facilitated diffusion and active transport. Now, facilitated diffusion can use both channel proteins and carrier proteins, whereas active transport only uses carrier proteins. Now, facilitated diffusion, if it uses a channel protein, the molecule is simply going to diffuse from a region of higher concentration to a region of lower concentration through that hydrophilic pore, which is the channel protein. If it uses a carrier protein, it's going to bind to the carrier protein. The carrier protein will change shape and move that substance across the membrane as it changes shape. These are both examples of facilitated diffusion because it's passive, doesn't require ATP, and you're moving the substance from a region of higher concentration to a region of lower concentration. Active transport only uses carrier proteins, but when it's active transport, remember the substance is moving against the concentration gradient. So it's moving from a region of lower concentration to a region of higher concentration. And this is why the carrier protein requires ATP and ATP hydrolysis in order to change shape and move the substance against the concentration gradient. So just to sum up, facilitated diffusion can use both channel and carrier, Active transport is only carrier, it uses ATP and it moves substance against their concentration gradient.